Welcome to this course. In this course, we are going to learn about distributed database. This is Chaudhary Fahimir Fan. I hope this course will be interesting for you guys. In this course, we are going to discuss the important theories of distributed database systems as well as we are going to cover practical work in this course. Here is the definition of distributed database. Distributed database management system or we can say that DDBMS is a type of DBMS which manages a number of databases. Here the number of databases is the important statement at different locations and interconnected them through a computer network. It is very simple definition. It means in distributed database we are going to make fragments of our main database, our store at different locations. It provides mechanisms so that the distribution remains unaware to the users. We perceive that database as a single database. There is no distribution or there is a single database. We have a lot of advantages of distributed database but first of all what is centralized databases. So here is the definition of centralized database. A centralized database sometimes abbreviated as CDB is a database that is located stored and maintained in a single location. Here is the example of centralized database. Only single database is existed in this technique over centralized database. We can get data from here. Here is the database system and if I want to access data from site 1 so by using communication network I can access data from database so if I suppose I want to access data from site 5 so by using communication network or channel we can access data from DBMS so it is very problematic because of all the burden on communication network and also on DBMS so here are the two problems in centralized database so number one is bottleneck problem and the second one is reliability and these two problems are very dangerous because a bottleneck is a problem where the performance of a database decreased or capacity of an entire system is limited by a single unit so single unit means only one end for the receiving request and for the response so by using this communication channel you are going to request from all the sites to send request to the DBMS so DBMS will be slow only one end for the inserting and receiving data from the database reliability means trust if database is failed then whole system will be damaged suppose if our DBMS is failed due to any reason so site 1, site 2, site 3, 4, 5 will be unable to send request and receive data so it is very dangerous so but here is the example of distributed database in distributed database collection of multiple logically related database distributed over a network is called DDB so site 1 is here site 1 and its database or DBMS is here so accounting department database is here and at site 3 engineering department is here and we can access data 
of engineering department from this side and now site 3 is here and here is the medical department database so all are connected logically by using communication network so we can access data by using this communication network if accounting system is suddenly fail so you can request data from site 5 or from site 4 you can access data of computer department you can access data from site 5 if you want to access data outside 3 but you are at site 5 so you can make a request by using communication network and you can access data from site 3 if you are here at site 5 so advantages more reliability means that the trust is more we can trust distributed database so if accounting system is fail so all others are working correctly no bottleneck problem because requests are divided into accounting and different sites so bottleneck problem is removed unlike here is bottleneck problem only one end for receiving and sending requests so and also lower communication cost is equal to fast response so what is this lower co communication cost means if you want to access computer department data and you are at site 4 so no need to use the communication network you can access data from here so by using site 4 you can simply without using communication network you can access data from co computer department at site 4 so can easily manage and expandable if you want to add another department into this communication network you can add or you can remove medical department from communication network all the collection of databases is not physically connected but logically connected from user point of view there is only single database is working in the background but in real there may be more than two fragments of database are available for the user it will be more convenient for the organization and the end users so here are the some features so why distributed database is important making database transparent for the users so features are sites are linked sites are linked using communication network as you look at here sites are linked using communication network so this is number one feature geographically distributed all over the world it is possible one site is London and site 2 is in Pakistan and site 3 is in India so sharing databases so you can share databases by using distributed database add remove fragments easily so you can add remove fragments easily by using distributed database database at each site under control its own DBMS so independently site 1 control accounting department data DBMS has its own rights so it has its own rights to access data and store data if accounting department is restricted then site 3 cannot insert data into accounting department thank you for watching this video